People who go into the bathroom to freshen up before sex what are you guys actually doing in there? Putting dry talcum on my black leather pants because I couldn't get them back on. So I put oil all over them to try and make them slippy. But now I'm covered in baby oil, talcum powder and my leather pants halfway up my legs. Ross, is that you? I know, I knew that from somewhere. You just need to pivot. P.I.V. Art. They're not coming on man. It rubs the lotion on its skin. Or else it gets the belt again. Nice reference. It was actually Vaseline. Cocaine. This guy snorts. Coke dick though. My man. Moist wipes. Can I flip the question around OP? Are you really saying there's no part of your body you feel the desire to clean before sharing it with your partner? Barnacle removal. Nitpicking. Stealing her pills. Amen. Cleaning my lady bits. I butter my vagina and sprinkle it with powdered sugar. I think I'm in love. Hooker bath. Psyching myself up by reciting positive affirmations. Clean out my ass so there's no important surprises when getting fucked. Warming him up so he doesn't look totally embarrassing. The real question should be directed to people who don't go clean everything before sex. WTF. Powder my vagina. Gotta pee before or I can't enjoy it at all it why it's just a must. Penis pep talk, stare into mirror in disbelief that I'm actually going to have sex. Post 5 reposts on r slash credit. Checking for track marks, shouldn't, farting, exorcising my demons, watching the latest episode of my favorite show, washing in between my toes, plucking toe hairs, hair gel on pubes, calling my doctor for disease results, putting febreze on armpits, eating a quick snack. Dick in sink, brush my teeth. Toilet if I need to, if it's a poop. You're out of luck, gotta take a shower too then. I don't do sex unless I'm sparkly clean. If not, I just feel uncomfortable and don't enjoy the sex. Go pee, baby wipes on all the bits and making sure there's no TP down there. It's called a hoe bath. You make sure your junk is all funky in case it's the other person's face is going anywhere the promised land. Use the bidet hose to wash the bits. I mean, if you want someone to go downtown, you need to make sure the road is clear. Mouthwash, baby wipes if I didn't just shower, make sure no gross bits in the plumbing. Common courtesy. Calling the hooker to cancel. If I'm bottoming, I'll douche and apply lube. For women, I'll use the toilet and shower. Quick rinse of the OL rod and tackle. Some soap goes a long way with plenty of rinsing. I even wash my rear in case old lady wanna tongue me down. Cleaning every hole and shoving edible smelly good stuff in their lol. I go into the bathroom and prep talk myself with a mirror that I need to champ this night, give her everything she wants, and will go down on her as if I'm diving in Atlantic Ocean. If I die. I die. That's my usual freshen up moment. Hygiene stuff already taken care of so no issue on that part. As a guy who bottoms, I'm doing a last-minute finger check. Because after not eating for HRs and douching, I want to make sure I'm all clear to be railed like I like. Go away. Embatten. Stretching so I don't fuck like a stiff dead fish. Deodorant, brush your teeth, tidy your hair, use the toilet, pluck some hairs, file your taxes, jerk off, make sure the langire fits, etc. Well, I feel like I have been fucked every time I file taxes, so you are not entirely inaccurate there. Well, I always thought filing taxes could be a form of foreplay, but I guess not everyone's into that. Of the BDSM kind, I guess. Ah, bonia pletia. Being incredibly nervous, being worried that I smell unpleasant, and doing everything within my power to ensure I do not smell unpleasant because my pathological need to please people extends from my normal life to bed flawlessly. 
Washing my hands before I play my wife's pussy like a flamenco guitar. Literally cleaning the most important spots, armpits, asshole, crotch, and teeth. Nothing worse than gross smells from those four spots when I want to get intimate with a woman. I'd hope she takes care of the same. You can even use the same brush if you go in the right order. Right order. Very important. Not same order as I first read. Just to give me pep talk. Okay, sure, 7281, we got this. We got this. We're gonna get in there and show her what we're made of, right? We've been practicing, and this is our moment. Hey, and let's have fun, right? This should be fun. Why am I sweating? Oh God, I'm sweating like a pig. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You always do this. Just go in there and do it. It's not that hard. Oh God, what if I can't get hard? Someone give a war to this guy. My girlfriend prefers to have sex when we are both freshly showered, and I don't blame here. So I usually just shower and was my dick extra good because it might be sucked. Insufflating 2CB. Washing, brushing, making sure I look good, watching TikTok to keep him waiting a little longer. Pep talk with the PP. Calling my therapist. Wash your genitals, brush your teeth, rinse your mouth. Congratulate my reflection in the mirror. Now you're in the bathroom, brushing your teeth. It's all part of the foreplay. I love foreplay. Then you sort out the recycling. That isn't part of the foreplay process, but it is still very important. P. Mouthwash, wash off my junk and butt crack to make it more likely for them to be licked. Stretching my pee pee so my floppy looks bigger than it normally is. Violently scrubbing my dick, balls, and ass to make sure everything can be as pleasant as possible for my girlfriend. Piss. Wash my dick and balls, taint real good. Splash water on my face. Look in mirror, give myself a pep talk. Yell at my penis to not disappoint. Ladies. When you'll go in and pee, after you wipe make sure no toilet paper is left between the lips. It's awkward asshole to tell someone to remove TP so I can eat in peace. Respectfully, smiley face. Making sure it's clean enough to eat. Washing my dick and balls with soap and water. Seeing if there's anything on my face. Mouthwash. The last thing you want it for your dick to taste like it's been in underwear all day. She should have to smell or taste anything funky. Make sure my is good to go, and there's no tissue stuck in it. I wash my penis, put a little solid perfume and use a little mouthwash. Pee. Lots of pee. Nothing worse than sex with a full bladder. I even stay there as long as possible to ensure everything that can, comes out. Even a tiny drop can ruin my erection. A quick colonoscopy just to see that things are in good shape. Making sure I don't have toilet paper crumbles in the folds of my twat lol. Washing the junk. Cleaning the funk. You're welcome stinky. Sitting on the toilet, watching TikTok videos. In the bathtub, I clean my hands, ass and junk really well with regular soap and then scented soap. Then I brush my teeth. My wife also cleans herself well front to back in the bathtub. I usually spend a good 30 to 60 minute down there with my mouth and fingers. If I smell like peppermint downtown, after me chowing down for an hour you bet she is going to return the favor. No one wants any stinky anything. Shitting. Sink washing the junk. Smell check, wash if necessary, typically after clubbing if I'm not too drunk to care. Calling my dad and leaving a voicemail saying someone does want me. My feels have been injured. I fucking asterisk love asterisk this comment kiss smiley. If I just get off work and I'm really sweaty and gross, I'll take a quick shower, brush my teeth, throw on some deodorant, and maybe some cologne. Which reminds me, always wash your ass, people. It's so simple, and too many people neglect their ass hole in the shower. I am still shocked and disturbed to learn that some people don't wash their arseholes. What's the point of showering 
if you don't thoroughly soap your ass and genitals. I don't understand skipping the most crucial part. LOL, I literally laughed for 10 minutes straight reading these comments.